And have you ever gotten worried that you picked a guest host who really isn't up to the task? Uh, yeah. And do you, how do you coach them that maybe you could do a better job we, or be we ready? You can get almost anyone through it. It's an odd hybrid because you're on stage, so th there are lots of people who are very good at that, but then there's also cameras, and also the script is constantly changing up to the last minute. So it takes a level of focus, and there's a point at which the host really just gives up and goes, I, you just have to trust it at this point, and that, we'll, that it will all come together. So I, in anticipation yep. of my getting a chance to do yeah, this yeah. with you, you invited me to come to one of the shows yes. recently, and I was surprised how small the studio actually is. Yeah. Now this is a studio that Toro Toscanini conducted yeah. the NBC orchestra at one point. Yeah, it was built on springs, literally. I, he was, the NBC Symphony Orchestra in Toscanini was that important, and Rockefeller Center had been built, so they put this in between floors so that the subway noise wouldn't affect it. A lot of that was changed when television came in because they thought sound wouldn't matter. Uh, turns out it did. Right. I noticed when I was there that you were walking around the set a bit, and uh -huh. I noticed sometimes when I watch on TV that you're staring at what's going on, and right. um, you don't smile that much when you're doing this. No. And, um, and do you ever think, uh-oh, this isn't going as well as I thought, so you tell the people, fix it or do something different in the middle of the show? No, I mean, there's some of that, but mostly it's about time. So the cast are good enough that if you are running a minute or two long, you can just go, and they understand, and they can just pick it up and go faster. Or else we take a page out of something. And there are cases where you think you had a really funny sketch uh -huh. or script, and all of a sudden people aren't laughing in the studio, mm -hmm. or the reverse is where you're not sure it's that funny, and all of a sudden it becomes very funny? Yes. You choose the pieces on Wednesday, you rehearse them Thursday and Friday, and again Saturday afternoon in costume and makeup, and then you, uh, you do a dress rehearsal, which is the first time three, four hundred people come in and see it. And whatever you thought, if they disagree, they're right. So um, we will, we adjust from that. Things that you thought were surefire don't play and things that, uh, and a lot of it is placement where they were in the show. Like if it's a, a harder piece, if you play it early, it probably won't work. And so it's, it's where you play things, running order, and also topicality. So you don't get uh, people calling you from the, the network that owns you, let's say it's NBC, it's owned by Comcast yeah. now, saying, geez, you're being too tough on a political figure. They, they just leave you alone. No, they leave us alone. And the Comcast people have been brilliant because, uh, one, I don't think they want to be doing the show themselves, so there's that. And also, it's just been Steve Burke, Brian Roberts, just unwavering support.